Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Uda Pandit and you are watching MEP Technical World. In this video, we will learn about basically how to calculate the light fixture. Actually, how many lights are required in particular area. Okay. In previous video, I have already discussed about basic parameter of lights. Okay. So, before I start the session, I would like to request you if you are not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so you will get notification regarding my upcoming videos so let's get started so here we are going to calculate the uh, light fixture for this classroom okay so there are two classroom so we'll first we'll go for this classroom okay how many uh, light fixtures are required okay so for the light calculation we have to follow the following steps so you can easily calculate the any area of the light fixture by following these steps so in first steps what is it select the area and calculate the area of selected premises so first we have to calculate the area where we are going to calculate the light then select the required illuminance lux level from the lux standard table as per above selected type area okay then select the mf means maintenance factor value then select the uf value utilization factor value then select the light light fixture type from light catalog like uh, we have a uh, various uh, brands of light like uh, philips cisca and many more so from this brand we can select the light fixture type either tube light or down lights or up lights like this okay then select the lumen value as per selected light type then finally calculate the number of fixture of light using formula then after calculation of light fixture finally place the calculated light fixture in AutoCAD plan okay according to this plan we'll have to ex execute in the site okay so this these are the eight steps which we have to follow for calculation of the light fixture okay so in first step so for this area we are going to calculate the light fixture okay for this room one classroom one so in first step what we have to do we have to calculate the area okay area must have in a square meter okay initially all drawing have a generally uh, uh, unit has a in mm that's why if we calculate the uh, area through the autocad it will come in a square mm okay so area is equal to what length into breadth okay so this is the area okay 3251 square mm this is in mm so what we have to do we have to convert it into square meter so this is the if we convert this square millimeter to a square meter it will come to 32.51 square meter okay so this is the area of this classroom so finally here we have calculated the area of this classroom in a square meter now come to second step so in second step what we have to do actually how much lux level is required for classroom so we have a, a, a like a standard tables for uh, education building or uh, especially for a school as well so for lecture hall so for lecture hall demonstration bench so what is this uh, classroom teaching spaces so especially for classroom how much lux is required 500 so we have to select the lux level okay e equal to 500 okay so here we have selected 500 e equal to 500 now come to step 3 so for classroom we take as per thumb rule this is a maintenance factor 0 0.8 okay then for fourth step this is the uf value utilization factor so uh, generally we 
for classroom we use bright color wall means bright color painted so we consider for bright color wall and ceiling utilization factor 0.7 so here uh, 0 uf value for uh, this classroom is 0.7 now come to fifth step so in fifth step what we have to do we have to select the light fixture type from the light catalog so for classroom here i have selected led t5 tube lights okay from Cisca catalog book okay so this is the tube light fixer okay where we have a two lights bulb in one set okay so from here we have considered this model t5 22 watts okay 22 watts tube light here we have selected having two tube light in one set okay so here we have selected tube light light fixture having wattage 22 wattage okay now finally select the lumen value as per selected light types so select the lumen value from catalog as per above selected tube light so light fixer type we have selected tube light so this is the tube light 22 watt okay now finally what we are going to select lumen value 5 so here so this is the lumen so for this light you can consider 1800 okay when you go for 1900 as well but here i have taken 1800 okay so more lumen means it will give more lights per watt okay so here i have selected medium one 1800 lumen so phi is also selected now come to seventh step so here finally now we have taken all the value which is required for the calculation for formula so this is the formula for light fixture calculation so n is equal to this is number of light fixture okay is equal to e into a divided by mf means maintenance factor into uf means utilization factor into phi means lumen into n n means a small uh, light of fixture inside the set so here e means illuminance this one illuminance okay so e means illuminance this one lux level then n means number of light fixture required phi means lamp output lumen then n means number of lamp in fixer suppose this is the one set fixer but here how much tube we are going to select two so two two tubes in a one fixer one set of light so here a small one is two then mf means maintenance factor uf means utilization factor and area means area of premises where light will be fixed so in our case which is the area classroom is our area okay so this is the formula where we are going to use to calculate the light fixer now we have already taken the value of all these parameter so area is 32.52 square meter then lux level is 500 for classroom then maintenance factor is 0 0.8 then uf utilization factor is 0 0.7 and lumen is 1800 which we have selected from light catalog and a small n is 2 because here in one set of tube light we are going to use two tube light okay that's why n equal to 2 now this is the formula let's place the all value so 500 into area which area is 32.52 square meter then mf value this one mf value 0 0.8 then uf value 0 0.7 then phi equal to 1800 then n a small n equal to 2 so here we have placed all the value now if we calculate this one it become 16260 and below it it become 0 0.5 into 3600 after this so finally if we divided this 
1600 by 2016 it will become 8.06 so this is the number of light fixture so calculated number of tube light fixture is 8 nodes so this is the so how much light fixture are required for classroom 8 number so now finally we have calculated the 8 number of tube light twin tube light set okay so after calculation it what we have to do we have to place these 8 number of light in proper arrangement in the classroom ceiling so generally we in the ceiling or anywhere we consider this when we are going to arrange the light suppose here we have calculated 8 nodes so how we will place this 8 nodes light in the ceiling so it will look nice and even uh, for better illuminance so generally we uh, when we uh, a spacing of light fixture flowing uniform so when we are spacing the light means placement of the light we have to place it in uniform manner okay so there are two types of spacing one is transverse spacing it means in excess x-axis and another is excel spacing which means y axis okay as you can see over here if this is your ceiling then we have a how much light here 4 so we can suppose this is the 1 meter suppose then from the wall we have to consider x by 2 means if 1 meter will keep the distance between two lights at mid but from the wall side we have to left x by 2 means 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 so here we have to consider 0 0.5 from the ceiling in this axis x axis in y axis which is xl spacing similarly okay if the distance between two light is x means we have to lift from the wall x by 2 from all side okay so this is the way we, we can place the lights in the ceiling when we are placing the lights after calculation the uh, light fixture okay so here we have placed the light fixture in this classroom as you can see over here so there are how many lights eight nodes <coughs> two tube light so here twin tube light so four over here okay and then four over here so total eight nodes of light here we have placed so in this way we can calculate the light fixture and place it to the that particular area which we have calculated for it okay so hope you guys understand about basically how to uh, calculate the light fixture by using these uh, steps so thank you for watching this video please like share subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll get notification regarding my upcoming videos so thank you so much see you again in next video